All right. So we all seen the tweets that Spence had put out. A whole lot of people reacted to them. And most of us reacted the same way that, uh, you know, hey, he's talking about Terrence Bud Crawford. However, if you take a close look at them tweets, he never mentioned Crawford in any of them. The tweet when he said, you know, he's been fighting at 147 for a decade. Man, this stuff isn't easy or fun. He wants to move up. Who is stopping him? It sure isn't Crawford because Crawford is not in control of what Spence do with his own career. And when he tweeted, you know, they've been, you know, stalling for months. I could have been fought in November. Once again, he never tagged Terrence Crawford. Okay. He just put it out there. So I don't know. It's kind of like a slide disc. Was he talking about Crawford or was he really talking about his superiors? The people that really do control his career because they knew lots of people knew that this fight was not going to happen between Spence and Crawford. Okay. Now, if his superiors known that they still should have set up a fight for him somewhere in November or December, although there's a rumor going around that Spence will be fighting in December, but it was so many rumors, <laughs> you know, we don't know what the hell to believe. Okay. But we do know that Crawford will be fighting on December 10th for $10 million. And you know what else? The pay-per-view is for $40, $39.99. I think that is reasonable. Okay. Because we're getting a fight that we really don't want, but it has to be on pay-per-view because Crawford doesn't have a network anymore. He's not with top rank. He's not with ESPN. He's not with Showtime or any of that. So he has to fight, I guess, on an app or a, a uh, you know, pay-per-view. But the pay-per-view is reasonable, okay? These guys are not money hungry. I mean, I, I mean, they are, but, you know, with $40, no. That's a reasonable price. Reasonable price. And this is something that Earl spent... And, you know, he, he's not realizing that his superiors are in trouble because they could have brought out put out pay-per-views for some reasonable prices as well, such as Wilder versus Hellenius. Who in the hell is going to pay $80 for that? Well, 77,000 people did. At least that's what they say. Some say it was uh, 50,000. I heard less than 50,000 uh, 50, as well. I'm not even going to repeat that. However... I can see if it was um, Deontay Wilder versus Dillian White. Yeah, $80. Okay. You know, both men got something to prove. They both lost. And I can see if it was Wilder and Joshua. Yes, $80 would have been worth it because they both had something to prove. Okay. Who's going to be back on top? Who's going to go for the titles again? All right. Loser goes home. All right. They retire. OK. I mean, I'm pretty sure that pay-per-view would have been did very well. But. Earl Spence superiors, uh, they don't know too much about boxing or how to run the business of boxing. And for Earl Spence, if he doesn't know that his superiors are in trouble, you know, with him putting out these tweets, talking about them on the sly. Got people thinking that he's talking about Crawford, all right? Um, his superiors should tell him, hey, man, look, we're in uh, a little financial difficulties right now, okay? Um, we might not have a home, might not have a network come 2023, okay? But should they still have made the fight? No, they don't have the money, all right? And all this stuff about Crawford going for the books and all this type of stuff. You know, Crawford never tweeted anything about this. He never mentioned any anything about this. But um, I don't know how it got out there. But I'm pretty sure it was Crawford's lawyers who asked for that. And if, you know, they had decided no, you know, I mean, the lawyers could have got a court approval to make them show them the books. But I guess they said, nah, I mean, look, this whole thing isn't worth it. You guys really don't have the funds, do you? No, we 
money, though. Okay. Crawford, move on. And uh, like I said, congratulations to Crawford. Now, for Spence, he could have had a fight with anyone in November. It might not have been the fight we wanted to see, but still give us a fight. Spence wanted to fight again this year. It could have been anyone. It could have been Keith Thurman. People would have paid to see that. Jerron Ennis. Okay. People would have definitely paid to see that. Okay. I'm telling you. Spence versus Thurman. Spence versus Ennis would have done at least in the 300,000s to the 500,000s in pay-per-view buys. Okay. Because although it wasn't, you know, what Spence and Crawford, but at least it is something that the fans want to see. Fans want to see Spence and Keith Thurman. We've been wanting to see that for years. People want to see, um, you know, Spence and Jerron Ennis. Jerron Ennis keeps calling him out. Okay? We want to see that fight. So, yeah. You know, we need to uh, sit back here and realize what's going on. Was he really talking about Terrence Bud Crawford? Because, like, the first notion I got, he wasn't talking about Crawford. Nah. I really thought he was talking about his superiors. So anyways, that's my take on this. This is CMD Boxing Reports, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.